This weekend will be one of a kind. I'm going to Bora Bora 11, which is the biggest milsim in Europe. Last year it was 3,000 people, so it's gonna be lit this year again. Now here is a video of last year. This is Fabi, over there is Silo, and we are taking a helicopter to fulfill our sniper scout mission. The last three times that I went there, I didn't have the vlog channel yet, so this time it's gonna be different. I'm gonna show you the whole experience of three days non-stop milsim, which means you also have to wear your safety goggles at night since people can basically open your tent and just shoot you in your sleep. Silo, Fabi and Sinan will arrive here in Vienna in about two hours and then we're gonna head north of Prague. But the part about Border War that I dislike the most is the moment right before you get in the car. Because at some point, you know, you can't really go back and get it once you drive for an hour. But this moment is always like, do I have everything? Do I have my tent, my sleeping bag, my isolation mat, or the BB speed loader? You know, Airsoft is already uh, a sport where you need so many things. You need so many things! But a three-day milsim just makes everything worse. There is... You need so many things! Shoes, shoes, socks. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> you never want to go to a museum without toilet paper. It's the worst thing that can happen to you. To give you an idea of what I'm actually bringing, um, camera gear and laptop, electronics, power bank and all that stuff. This is all for sleeping, so sleeping bag. Last but not least, Silas pillow. He used this pillow on last water war and forgot it in my gear bag, so it was with me for an entire year. It's gonna get it back today. Oh, he's like half the song. Here we see that half the squad is complete. Now we're gonna go pick up Silo and Fabi from the race station where they're waiting for, I think, two hours already. <laughs> and then we're heading up to Prague. <laughs> just, just park it over here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just one bag? That's it? <laughs> I got your pillow silo. You don't want that back? I'm not sure. Yeah, we go. Did you wash it? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, Czech police guys just stopped us in their Skoda here undercover. He didn't drink anything, I but he know. but he was speeding like crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're always trying to catch the Austrians. <laughs> Already in the middle of nowhere. Game area should be five minutes from here. I'm just checking the game briefing again. I like how it says, parking must be done with maximum precision. <laughs> and, yeah, look at it. It says it right. Yeah, parking must be done with maximum precision. <laughs> <laughs> in Minion is a few bad restaurants and pizza places. A Lidl and an ATM machine. <laughs> what a nice place to live at. <laughs> the player's journey says, I think, three times that we have to go back to the car. There's like one point which just says, go back to your car. <laughs> Number 10. <And> leave. <laughs> <And> leave. <laughs> this is not the field yet, but it totally looks like a field. <laughs> Look at this. That would be perfect to play. The toilets are here as well. Okay, we are safe. I like how they're asking for the ticket. Like if we want to park here for free or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're okay, Sinan, we're back in 48 hours. Thanks for driving. Bye, Jonathan. <laughs> Sinan, you forgot about the precision parking. <laughs> Look at this guy. What is this then? Yeah. <laughs> so much about the precision parking. <laughs> okay, ready, we're gearing up. Now we're gonna check with the chronograph. Now, I optimize the whole thing with 0.2s, so I hope they grow with 0.2s. They do actually use proper civil buses to transport the people. If they transport the dirty people back as well, you can just burn the bus. There's gonna be the dirt everywhere. 
So I don't, I didn't, uh, for a long story, I don't have a ticket. Can I still buy and buy myself in? I have in? no idea. You have no idea? No, I've got, no I don't, I'm, not, I'm not the organizer. Oh, <laughs> you're not from here? Okay. So where's the, where's the real people? I'm where's like really the orga? Here. Oh, here. I don't have a ticket yet. Can I buy one? You have the Chrono ticket? Not yet. Should I have the Chrono first? You must go in the Chrono, of course. Okay. You buy here ticket. Yeah, okay. 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 So far, we, they actually still Chrono with point twos. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I thought that's a thing of the past. They don't even chrono handguns. Yeah, that's weird. So, I mean, last year, well, I, had, yeah. last year I had to chrono it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the, oh, yeah, that's it's the one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably every single side on past, so they were like, yeah. <laughs> I think the only ones that would be too hard would be revolvers. They're like 500 PS. Okay, shoot. Thank you. Where do you guys actually chrono with point two? What's what's the reason? It's a standard, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for HBA you use heavy uh, BBs. That's good. Because this is measured in joules and not in meters oh. per second. So they measure HPA guns in joules, but not sniper rifles. Yeah, it's weird how they actually know that tool creep exists, but they still do point twos. Ah, nobody. Oh, finally. That's good. I give you a hero medal. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. There we go. Hero medal. Oh, that looks like a lot of forest, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the orientation point? Here, here's village. Yeah. It's weird, like on, on the last one we had the power lines going here and like all those yeah. big roads. But I think yeah. they I don't mean, really have... these are also roads. Gold road. Yeah. Barrel oh, road. they're just... Okay, yeah, they're just smaller roads. roads. Yeah, artillery road. Yeah. What's like the, the biggest struggle of organizing a game like this? On this event, the most critical is to handle the new terrain and the suppliers, oh. which we manage. Yeah. And the rest, it's fine. We arrived in the task force base. Oh, let's get out of here! So, on the task force side, I think we have around 700 players. Speech is gonna start in a second. Dave, you will have a great fun and you can bring the victory. And that's what I'm expecting from you. <laughs> Follow my orders, look after your guys, and fight. Fight again in the heart and bring me the victory. Hooah! 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 Leaving the camp, then we're heading to the village um, because there is plenty of enemy contact there. Log, log, log bridge in action. <laughs> and the helmet looks super dorky. We all look super dorky with the helmets. I don't look. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think actually yours looks fine. But like, yeah. We always like dorks. <laughs> yeah, look at Sina. Sina struggling with the cameras again. Well, at least you guys have like something on, on the ears. Like, look at the your, your ears are covered. Yeah. Yeah, mine as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're yeah, covered. I probably get shot on my ears. Yeah, yeah I don't look that stupid actually. Huh. No. Yeah, I'm not gonna switch to helmet anyways. You got your like a little piece of hair coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it breaks up the silhouette, you know. <laughs> are you good, Sina? Yeah, I hope so. Huh? I hope so. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's go. Well, you we don't have to switch it on yet. We're gonna walk for probably two hours until we have our first contact. So. Yeah. I'm dead, once again. Fabi and I made this really, really nice ambush. Here is the road. It goes like from there, respawn into the village. Could have been nicer. Huh? Could have been nicer. Yeah, I shot too early. We miscommunicated. Yeah, they're gonna come to search me again. Role play? Huh? Role play? Yes, role play. one nice vehicle. Yeah. On the way back to the respawn currently. Um, that's the downside of Milsim. You have to walk at least 30 to 40 minutes back. Then you have to wait for an hour to respawn. So you lose a, you lose a lot of game time. Looks like Task Force is preparing for a big attack. Rest in peace, insurgents. And another great car. What did they build? Cheap. All right, guys, that's it for this vlog for Border War 11, day one. Um, next week will come the second vlog. 
Summary of today, I liked it a lot, even though the, the area, it's really just forest, there's not very special elements. I've been told there's bunkers and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't get to see it. The whole community this time, it's... I had not a single conflict, there was nobody shouting around, oh, you cheaters! Nothing like this was going on today, which is always a good sign for a good game and for a great community. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you want to check out the gameplay, you know, those BBs flying through the forest, hitting insurgents, you can check it out on the main channel. It's going to be released in one or two days, depending on how fast I'm going to be able to edit it.